Hey everyone, it's Lisa, and today I want to show you um, some products that I got from Gemma Kid. They contacted me and asked me if I would like to review some products and maybe do a giveaway. So, of course, I did because I don't know about you, but the first thing I think of when I think of Gemma Kid is I think of Pixie Woo and all the different things that they've used. Because I don't know if I ever really would have heard about the brand um, besides the brand at Target. Um, and I haven't tried, I think I've tried one eyeshadow from them. But um, that's the only way I would have seen it. So what I did, I'll admit I cheated. Because the first thing I thought of was all those things that I'd seen that I wanted to try that they had used. So I went and um, they asked me just to let them know what I wanted to try. So I found out all the things that I had seen them use that I wanted to try. Um, one of them, first and foremost, was this. And it was the Mia lipstick. I had this written down forever. And I think I probably had it in my cart at Nordstrom or it was one of those big department stores, either Nordstrom or Saks, uh, for the longest time and I didn't end up getting it. But it is the Gemma Kid Makeup School and it's one of the, let's see what it's called in the box, Ultimate Lipstick Duo. And what's neat is it has the, let's see, the conditioner on one end, so you put that on before you put your lipstick on, and then here is the lipstick, and it is beautiful. It is a color that I think anybody would love. It is beautiful. I've got it on right now, and that, and then I've got this lip gloss over it, and it's the petal, and I think I saw um, Tanya, Pixie 2 Woo, use this, or maybe not. Maybe it was Nick that used this. I'm not sure. One of them, but it is a beautiful pink color. You can see right there what color it is. It's like a um, creamy, milky pink. If you like um, Turkish Delight or any of those colors like that, you would love it. And it's even better. It's very smooth. Um, and the name of it is the High Shine Silk Touch Lip Gloss. That makes sense. Because it's very smooth and creamy, like a cream sheen. It's not sticky at all. And it goes good over that lipstick. Then um, I had, I know I saw Nick using this on the how to make your lips look fuller, and it is the Gemma Kid Makeup School Shape, Shape and Shade Liner and Lip Fill, and the color is Nutmeg, and it is beautiful, and I think every one of you would love it. It is the best natural nude lip liner I think I have ever seen. It mimics the edge of your lip perfectly. So even if you if you like to overdraw them just a little bit, or even if you don't, it makes your lips look so much fuller. I don't know what it is, but I love that. And you know how I am, I gotta get it off my hand. And then this is another thing that I saw them use. Now I think I saw, let's see, Nick use this to blank out her lips. Now I don't do that because I just usually don't have to do that. But I use this, I have used this a bunch for just my um, eyelid primer. And it is beautiful. It's a perfect color, and it's very easy to get right in your eyelids and then smooth it out. And then the other end is just like the, um, you can do your waterline. You can do all around your eyes with it, or, you know, it's just a, it's too, let's see, it's called, where's the box for it? Um, it's called the Eye Perfector Prep and Brighten Duo. So it preps your eyelids, and it brightens all around them, which... Works out good for me because with using the lash growth, um, it always makes my eyelids darker. It's just a side effect. Um, and then the one thing that I picked myself because I am a bronzer fanatic and I love all different bronzers is I picked their Perfect Tan Bronzing Trio. And it is so pretty. And a couple of you have already asked me about it because you've seen that I've been wearing this stuff for a little while now. When I was talking about loving rosy bronzers, you can see this has that rosy tone right there. And so I've been using this to bronze and contour and then using that to kind of do as like a um, bronzy blush. Or some days I've just been swirling them all together and I use my, um, oh goodness, here's the brush. I use this brush to do that with. So um, one thing that I'm excited about is um, I'm gonna put a link below to Gemma Kids Facebook and they should have a place um, for me, Lisa Lisa D1. And um, you can click on that and enter to win. They're going to give away three of these. They asked me which product I wanted to give away, and I picked this because I think everybody would enjoy it. And I think, you know, not everybody wears 
lip liner or some of the other things, but I think everybody would enjoy a bronzer. So if you'll go enter that contest, good luck to you. And if you'll stay tuned, I'm going to do just a small tutorial with these products. Have a good day. Okay, so the only thing I have done right now is I have on my Abaji sunscreen and I have on my Shiseido Sun Protection um, SPF 30 foundation. My color is SP60 and I really like this. This was a gift from one of my subscribers and I don't think they carry it anymore. I think you can buy it on eBay, but I really like it. It's um, kind of matte, but um, with the next product I'm going to use, I kind of take care of that and it lasts really well. It lasts all day. So the next product I'm going to use is the Lorac um, Perfectly Lit in Spotlight, and I love this. I kind of use it, I guess, for a setting powder and highlight, and I just dip my brush, and you can see it gets right much product on there, um, and I just go over my whole face. And I don't know if you can see, I hope that the light isn't too bright, but... It really gives a pretty finish. There we go. So I love that. I mean, I really, really do. Um, and then the next thing I would do would be my contour and my bronzer, and that's where this comes in. And it is the Gemma Kid uh, Makeup School Perfect Tan Bronzing Trio. And it was kind of neat. I got this right after I had told you guys how much I like a rosy... Um, bronzer and you can see that that side right there is very rosy and then this side is really tan and then this side is just a lighter um, bronzer so what's neat about this is I just take my favorite bronzing brush the 138 and I go just in that dark side with well, the dark and the tan and I swirl my tip just in the end like that and then I go to contour and then go up on my forehead and then underneath, then I get some more on the tip of my brush, and then go up. So you can see that did a perfect contour, and I'll do a little bit more so you can really see. There, and it's so smooth and pretty. Okay, then what I've been doing is for just like a bronzy, just a little color look, is I've been going in with the rose color on the end of my brush and then running that right there on my cheekbone. And then that gives me the blush. Or you can, I've done it either way, I've swirled them all together. So I just, I love this, and I've been using it, I think I've used it just about every day since I've had it. Um, so, like I said, you can do it just like I did, or you can swirl them all together and just get that rosier color, like that. So that is the Perfect Trio Bronzer. And let's see, um, now is usually when I would spray my Fix Plus. So I'm going to go do that real quick and then I'll be right back. Now I just um, sprayed my face lightly with the Fix Plus and dried it. And the next thing I'm going to do is prime my eyelids and get ready to put on eyeshadow. And this product is very neat. It is, um, I think when I saw um, Pixie Woo, I think it was Nick that used it. I don't think, I, she, I don't think she used it for her um, eyeshadow base. But it's neat. It's called the um, Eye Perfector, I think is what it's called. Let me look at the box real quick. Um, yeah, the Eye Perfector Prep and Brighten Duo. Now, she used this end right here to um, prep her lips. I usually don't do that because um, I just don't like to blank out my lips that much. But what I use it for is eyeshadow base. And it is so easy, and I hope you can see. But you just go right in and just dab it right on your eye, lids like this. And for those of you that are using the um, either Lilash or Lattice like I am, you know it really discolors your eyelids. And then you just smooth it right out. And the only 
difference, well, the main difference in this and the um, Laura Mercier is this gives you a drier base, kind of a tackier, um, it's not as putty feeling as the paint pots. It just creates a smooth matte base. And you can see how evenly it, you know, gets your eyelids. And it's so easy. And then what's neat is this side, which is like a little eyeliner. And I've enjoyed that for under here, just like this. And then I get right in here too. And it lightens all up in there. And it stays. And then you can do this. To brighten your waterline. So you can see how well that works. I really like this. And it's so neat because it's so, you know, portable. You can just throw it in your bag. Um, then I am going to use drama today. I thought I would do a little bit darker eye since I haven't done that. And let's see, the brush I'm going to use for that, I'm going to use this Sonia Kashuk. And I'm just going to get a little bit on my brush. Kind of swirl it around. And just start dabbing it on. And I just go right up to my you know, in my crease, like that. Get a little bit more. This color really ends up being darker than you think. Almost just like an instant smoky eye. So I do like that, just right up to the crease. And then either wipe off this brush or grab another one. I'm going to grab just this um, Sigma. And then just smooth out that edge. Like that. And that's the great thing about the um, bare mineral pigments or shadows is they just seem to smooth out so easy. So the secret is don't take the shadow up as far as you want to go. Stop and then just use your clean brush and that way you won't go too far up because I'm sure you've probably done like me before and done it where you barely even have rain to put a highlight. Now at this point if you wanted to put a highlight you could but really that Eye Perfector and the Laura Mercier both of them provide enough highlight for me. And if you would like to carry the color underneath your eyes you could but I have gotten where I just don't like anything underneath my eyes so that is where I'm going to leave it, right there. You can see how easy that is. That's probably why I love those things that much. Okay, and then I'm going to use my um, Dior Brow Gel in Blonde. I think it was called Shiny Blonde. It's 541. And just go over my eyebrows real quick. Ah, hair's getting in there. this side. It's hard to do this without like a headband on or anything, but you just look so terrible with those things on. So there's that. Okay. And then I am going to show you how I do the um, powder liner um, with the I want to get the eventually get the uh, Bare Minerals version, but I've got this that um, my friend Lynn sent me, and it's um, called Metamorphics, and it's the Liquid Transformer. So what I've been doing, and this is so silly, but I've been taking just a little cap off of a drink and putting like one dot in there, and then this is the Bark Liner that Stacy gave me, and the brush I've been loving to do this is, oh, I hope I can find it. Um, let's see. Here it is. 
it is the Sigma SS209. For some reason, that is just like the perfect size. And I just get plenty of the shadow on the end of my brush, and then I dip it into that, um, that liquid, and I just keep on doing that until I get a good kind of like paste or whatever, because I have noticed if you make it too liquidy, um, it won't last. My brush, and I've just been going, if you can see, just going right in here. close to the lashes. And I think I've probably got it too liquidy right now, matter of fact. And then right here at the end, I just do a little bit and then swoop it back. Just for just a subtle liner. And then there's probably enough on here to do the other side too. And just keep it as close to the lashes as you can. And then at the end, and don't go too far out. Try to make it right where your lashes stop. Just flick it up and back. And that way it isn't too dramatic. It just really makes your lashes look fuller like that. And like I said, I haven't been doing any um, liner on the bottom. So, um, do that there. And that way, now I just throw this away. But you can see, I made a mess in there, and I don't want to do that in my lid. And then just put the cap back on so I don't make a mess. And then I am going to do my mascara. And um, I will be right. So I just put on, um, I go back and forth between the uh, Lash Blast and the L'Oreal Voluminous. Um, and today I put on the Voluminous just because it seems to be... Um, more kind of quicker so um so that is just the drama the eye perfector and the mascara and for some reason this hair is wanting to just drive me crazy today um and so now and you can also put on some more color if you like but with the darker eyes i'm gonna do leave a little bit less on my cheeks and now for my favorite part um i'd have to say I'd have to say this is my favorite product between the bronzer and this. This is the uh, Gemma Kid Makeup School Shape and Shade Liner Lip Fill in Nutmeg, which I haven't been filling my lip with it, but it is the best liner. I don't know if any liner, the closest one would probably be the Bare Chair from um, Styly Style, but this is the best liner for just mimicking the outline of my natural lips. Um, you can see you know, with the name Nutmeg, you can pretty much imagine what color it is. But um, let me show you what a difference it makes. Um, and, you know, I like to start on the outside of my lips. And I'm not going to overline them. I'm just going right on the edge. Okay, so you can see that it instantly makes your lips look so much fuller, and it just, I don't know what it is, it just instantly makes your lips kind of fan out and look just so much more full, And but yet you don't see just instant lip liner. It's not one that's like hard to blend, and it's one, I, I think you could probably use this with every single lipstick that you own, but... The lipstick that I have is really neat because it is called Mia, and I remember as soon as I saw them show this, I wanted it. Um, and on one end, it has the lip balm, which is so neat because I don't know if you guys are like me, but even if I go to like the Chanel counter or the MAC counter or something and I go to try on a lipstick, I cannot put on lipstick without having a lip balm on first. I don't know. I feel like my lips are just not, I don't know, smooth enough. So I use this after I use the lip liner because if you use it before the lip liner doesn't want to grab and it doesn't want to go on as well I mean that goes with any of them so um, or you could put it on before if you're not going to use lip liner but so I put on a little bit of this lip conditioner 
which is awesome. Mm. And then right here on the other side of the tube is the prettiest nude sexy color and it goes right on and goes perfect with that lip liner. So I hope you guys can see how pretty that color is here. Let me. It is the perfect. Um, if you like, let's see, what is that one? The Cream Sheen, Modesty. If you like Modesty, um, any of those colors like that that are just my lips but better with a little bit of mauve or nude, this is perfect. And I just am getting where I can't wear like the real, real nude colors. I feel like it just washes me out, especially if I'm not wearing as much. Maybe it is because I'm not wearing as much on my eyes. But um, the next thing is this lip gloss. And I think I saw Pixie 2 will use this, and it's called Petal. And it's beautiful. And I'll show you um, by itself what color it is because you guys are going to love it. And there's a shadow. But it's just a beautiful light pink color. And what I've been doing is just taking a little bit on my hand like that. If you like Turkish Delight, um, any of those little pink colors like that, you'll love this. And I use my Bobbi Brown Concealer Brush. It's my favorite lip brush. So I take a little bit of that pink. And I've just been putting it with this. And I just think that makes the prettiest lip. And you can see how awesome that lip liner is. Matter of fact, I think this is the lip liner that Nick used on how to make your lips look fuller. And it's just gorgeous. One of my very favorites. And you can look back at some of my videos and see I've been wearing it for a while. And it goes with several different things. So, I guess, oh, I forgot my concealer. And you know with me, that's like my most important thing. So, Bobbi Brown. Um, Smashbox brush, just tap into the concealer, just get a little bit on your brush, just go right into that dark area and go around like that. And then I take what's left and kind of smooth underneath my eyes. And then just get a little bit on your brush, go into that dark area, and then use the rest like that. You can see it instantly. I think um, one of the main reasons I like Bobbi Brown is one, I like the color. This color is warm beige and it just, I like that it brightens but it still melts right into my highlight or my foundation. And also it's creamy but it's still thick enough that it doesn't go anywhere. And a lot of you always ask me, um, does it go into fine lines? Well, sometimes it does because you know of course I have like the laugh lines and the Quitting, like wrinkles underneath um, but all you've got to do is pretty much smooth it out one time and it lasts and it lasts all day so um, here it is and I hope you enjoyed it and I'll be right back with an outfit of the day okay today I just have on my this little light shirt that I got at um, Kenneth Cole outlet and then I have on some leggings that I got at New York and Company and I have on just some of my favorite shoes. These are yellow box. And I've seen these made by several different people. And they're not my most comfortable shoes. But today I am just going to go to the post office and the grocery store and the bank. So I'm not going to be doing a whole lot of walking. And then for accessories, today I'm wearing um, my Betsy, what are they, Betsy Johnson earrings. And they're just the those zirconias and they're always they're the ones that are in like the permanent line um, I have on a ring that John got me um, it's just a little diamond butterfly um, I have on this little horseshoe necklace that he got me and he bought this for me right when this it was years ago before they got so popular it was right when um, Sex in the City um, Carrie started wearing hers we found this online I think at ice.com or one of those 
little jewelry stores online. And then this little necklace is from Banana Republic, um, Michael Kors watch, and my nail polish is one of the new Milani in that, um, just the new natural line. I think it's called Bear to Wear or something, but I'll put it down below where I list my makeup. And that is it. So I hope you guys have a great Tuesday, even though it feels like Monday. And I will see you soon. Bye-bye.